a cool new product showcase. Let's check out the watercraft first because that's typically the first thing that you see uh, when you arrive. Seems to me like the uh, the trend nowadays is going all inflatable. Um, you still have your poly um, polyethylene kayaks and everything, but it's like inflatable seem to getting seem to be getting more and more popular. This is interesting though. This boat here, like a hard side boat here. I'm not sure what's going on with it. I don't know if it's carbon fiber or fiberglass. Interior really looks like carbon fiber. The interior is really 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 rough. So. I would highly recommend that this, this boat uh, was to end up in your possession at some point. You probably should invest in some carpeting because that's going to tear up your feet unless you wear something on the bottom of your feet. That looks very uncomfortable. If it's carbon fiber, it's going to be tough and it's super lightweight. Let's see. Let's see what this is. Yeah. It's not too bad. One guy could lift that up. This inflatable here looks really cool. This is strictly for fishing too. Look, you got your little ruler on the deck there. Something you can lean up against when you're doing sight fishing. But, but it looks to me like this part separates so that you can just like just use that part and not the whole boat or you know leave your boat in one spot and use that little guy to paddle off and like in a way boat kind of sort of <laughs> so anyways hey let's check out some of these lures Pretty interesting lures this year. Uh, I know that uh, the, the technology is already there, so 
usually when something new comes out it's not super groundbreaking or anything like that um but uh seeing all the new designs and things like that are pretty cool i know that in uh previous years that i didn't really focus too much uh um uh, energy on the apparel side of everything because I was never really that interested in apparel but the thing is though it's like I find that with my new job um, well I've been there a year now but uh, I, I tend to start looking more towards like the the quick dry type clothing now that I'm uh, spend you know upwards to about five hours on the water uh, five nights a week so so I find that uh, some of these clothes I'm actually more a little more interested in nowadays these Sims products are really nice. I do like this material here. It feels good on the skin there. There's a lot of different different products out here that are really good. Um, one of the things is though, you know me, I wear the button down shirts with the roll up sleeves. So, um, so if the bugs get really bad, I can always button up to the top, roll down my sleeves and, and I'm good to go. Ice fishing booth. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Not, not gonna be anything that I can use here in Florida, but it's still pretty cool. I like that. Look at this little teeny tiny lure. Look at those little things. This is for ice fishing, but man, those are tiny. <laughs> I'd like to get me some of those just for the cute factor. Now that's something I definitely need to invest in soon. I need a new Bluetooth speaker bad. Uh, the, it seems like the batteries or whatever just don't last very long. Then they start to wear out after a while and then like they seem to be like uh, disposable. And I don't like that. I want, uh, But I want something really good that's going to last for years and uh, sound really good too because I like, I like my music out on the water. Oh, there it is, right there. Right there. 
Yeah, that's all right. That mesh right there would be good for comb jellies. And it's big, too. The, the net itself is really lightweight. So, and it's big, and it can stick it way down in there, like, and then scoop up all the comb jellies. Get in trouble for that, I think. But that'd be good for tours. Oh, here it is, right here. This is right, swivel butts. That's what uh, the gentleman on the escalator was talking about. Man, this thing's got a lot more weight than I expected. Look at that. That's cool. That's a good idea. This right here, you stick this down into a five gallon bucket with your with your fishing line, run it through this little part right here, so they can stay down inside some water when you're spooling your uh, your rod. That's pretty cool. I've just been dropping the whole reel into the bucket and, and do it that way. You take these guys here, and you fill them with chum to attract fish. It's kind of cool. here the life vests and uh, as soon as you hit the water they will uh, inflate so it's a lot more it's a lot more comfort it's not as bulky and uh, so and cooler as well on hot days you know, yak attack always makes really cool products I really like this stuff it's Tell you what, man, it's like we'll end up with a kayak that looks like the one at their booth over there. Yeah, it's my boys right there, Guardian Angel. That's their new kayak uh, lighting kit. It's in the product showcase. That's awesome. They got my full support. Whatever they make, is, uh, I'm on board with that. Collapsible bait bucket here. Floating rod holder. <laughs> But this is really cool. This I was checking this out yesterday at the Yak Attack booth. Check this out. It's called the Sand Rig Pro Surf Cart, so you can carry all your fishing equipment down to the down to the shore. And um, uh, it fits all their products, every bit of them, uh, in all kinds of different spots. And it's modular. You can put your, um, your Black Pack Pros and all that kind of stuff all over rod holders. Um, the thing is, though, it doesn't have to necessar necessarily be just for this. It could be for like, just about anything you want. I wonder how much weight it holds. As cool as it is, I really don't need anything like that. But uh, I will keep my eyes open for that in the future. That'd be, it might be a good time to do something different, you know? Let's go. Hey, I like that. Get a couple of those for the kayaks that I own. I can just roll them right up into the, the carport instead of storing them out back underneath the, uh, the portable one, leaning them up against the boat or whatever. That'd be a really good storage solution. Uh, however, I, I don't have so much room, but uh, I can make room for something like that. Now that is a serious kayak trailer. Look at that. That thing doesn't play around. <laughs> Spring-loaded, all kinds of 
hardware, everything aluminum, cast aluminum, and stainless bolts, and man, that's a cool trailer. That's uh, too rich for my blood. Let's see what that retail price on that is. 1500 bucks. probably splurge one of these days and get this uh, Black Pack Pro uh, gray model because um, this is the exact same color as my new kayak. It's kind of cool, but I, I guess the, the black is okay. But the only thing with the black is, is like out in a, on those sunny hot days, it gets really hot inside that box. to get a pair of these pliers man I just never, never want to spend the money but uh, I know that I can really really use one on the boat because I'm using the old-school uh, craftsman needle nose pliers and a pair of diagonal cutters these are these are really cool love that FX. I'm telling you, man, these rods are killer, man. You gotta check him out. Not only is he a really, really cool guy, uh, he makes a really good product. Yeah, I would definitely throw that. Alright, so 
some of the, uh, the best of show type stuff. Stopped by the new product showcase just for a minute yesterday and I took a close look at this uh, uh, wilderness systems kayak. This is really cool, but this is no kayak, this is a boat. the asymmetrical design up in the front right there for storage. Oh, I eat that up. It's really cool. So yeah, that's the new product showcase. There's all these amazing new products from tons and tons of companies. I mean, there's so much here that I couldn't possibly show you 100% of everything. But uh, for the most part, um, nothing really truly new or innovative. It's, uh, most of the technology is already there whenever you get like a new product. It's, it's usually just something, you know, that they that the company puts a spin on. Um, you know, and the pretty new colors on lures and things like that. But, uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and check out the rest of the show.